Hello! Welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal Llewellyn and I am a makeup artist and a makeup educator. And I'm back. It's been a long time. <laughs> I think it's been like six or seven months since I last posted my last video. And this video that you're going to see today was actually filmed about six or seven months ago. So yeah, I had this grand plan of doing all of these Halloween videos getting them out before I had this really big job. So <laughs> that didn't happen. I got really busy. And then my channel just kind of got pushed to the backside. But I had a little bit of free time, so I decided to edit my video. And here we are doing the intro about seven months later. So Welcome to this video. The makeup that I decided to do was inspired off of the movie Midsummer. If you haven't seen it, very, very good horror movie. It's definitely in my like top 10 movies of all time. For today, I had my dear friend Bailey sit for me. And Bailey actually worked with me at Six Flags Magic Mountain. She was my Harley Quinn. She played the Suicide Squad version of Harley Quinn at Six Flags Magic Mountain for um, Fright Fest. And I did her makeup every night. So we have this long going like model makeup artist relationship and she was in town. I had her come sit for one of my videos. Now this video is super simple. I took the idea of doing a sick and tired makeup, which often gets taught in out of kit effects classes. It's very simple, just using cream makeup, um, but to weather the skin, make someone look as if they're tired or if they've, you know, been through a lot, which if you've seen the movie, they go through a lot. That's what was inspired off of today's video. I wanted to have the look of post Danny after like she's gone through everything. Sort of that famous shot of her in the flower dress with the flower crown, just like maniacally smiling. That's, that's kind of what I was going for for today, except I did not have a giant flower dress, just the crown. So it's actually pretty appropriate that I'm posting this video now instead of during Halloween because the actual holiday of midsummer is coming up. So happy summer solstice and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. First I'm going to prep her skin with a little bit of witch hazel to get off any oils or dirt and I'm going to just show part of my skin prep as I've done a bunch of skin prep on a bunch of my other videos, but these two steps are really important. The other important step is sunscreen because we will be doing this photo shoot outside and I want to protect her skin from the harmful UV rays. Always wear your sunscreen. Using the Graftobian HD foundation cream and just spot treat some of the little spots on her face just to get rid of any discoloration that I don't want on the skin. Just going in with a little bit of a tiny brush dabbing it onto the area, and then blending it out with a clean brush. Next, I'm gonna go in with a few different colors in my Ben Nye creams, with the mauve color, a red, the blue, and some purple. Starting out with the mauve color, I'm going to go in underneath her eyes and sort of define the shadows, get it right underneath the eye to make her eye look more red. And it's always a good idea to look at reference photos as you're working. So if you see photos of people who are actually been crying or have actually been up for a very long time you can see the sort of redness that collects around their eyes by the tear duct and by the corner of their eye and then going through and adding a little bit of that deeper blue color you want to make sure you don't go too overboard with the blue just adding a little tiny bit on and then blending it out with a clean brush the key with these makeups is to gradually layer these colors and to do them in sort of thin washes. That way they look like they are coming from the skin and not sitting on top of the skin. 
I like to put a little bit of that redness right onto the lash line on the top as well. Just really show that irritation. Just adding that color, layering it on, building it up, and really blending it out. Next, I'm gonna go through and add that redness around her nose as well. Your nose tends to get really red, especially when you're sick or when you're crying. My whole face gets red when I'm crying, so. It also depends on the person and how their body reacts in those sort of situations. So again, references are always good. Then I'm gonna go through with my Graftobian foundation in some of the lighter shades, and I'm going to just add it around her mouth to make it look like she's a little bit more dehydrated, like her lips are a little more chapped. And then going through with some of that red Ben Nye cream and emphasizing the corners of her mouth. Getting a little bit onto the center of the lip as well and just making the lips look dried, cracked, like they need a chapstick. Next, I'm gonna go through with one of my deeper blue-toned Graftobian colors, just to emphasize a little bit more. I want to make it look like she's really, really, really tired. So very, very carefully placing the color where I want it to be and then blending it out and into the skin. red around the lash line but you don't want it to go too overboard so I'm just adding a little bit at a time and then blending it out with a little bit of foundation color as well make sure to get the little tear ducts little corners there Now I'm gonna go through with some of my European body art alcohol paint. I'm just gonna spatter a little bit of that mauve color all over her forehead and her cheeks. Basically all of the high points. So midsummer is the summer solstice, which means it is the time where the sun is up for the longest period of time. So there's lots of sun exposure, lots of sun activities, which means, you know, a little bit of a sunburn or some sunspots. So adding a little bit of that will help to give more weather to the skin. Now I'm going to seal her face in with some Pro Seal. and powder that down since the Pro Seal does have a little bit of a shine to it and there are certain areas that I want to look a little bit more dry. Now I'm going to give her some midsummer braids just to get the full, full look. I am not a hairstylist, so please don't come for me. <laughs> I can do some very basic braids and they, uh, you know, aren't the best, but for this look, this is post-trauma uh, Danny, so I think her braids can be a little bit more disheveled, has some hair sticking out, you know, I think that's, I think that's totally okay. And this process actually brings me way back with Bailey because I used to have to braid her hair into five different braids to be able to fit all of her hair underneath a Harley Quinn wig. So we would spend every Friday doing that. Now I'm gonna add the crown and arrange the braids up into the crown. And this crown I made entirely out of 
flowers I bought from Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store, and a few little things from Michael's. So I just got some wire and hot glued a bunch of cheap fake flowers. And I highly recommend going to Daiso to buy fake flowers because fake flowers are a very expensive at other stores. Hairpins can really help for hairstyles like this. They can be a little messier. You just throw a bunch of pins in there, make it secure, and then you're good to go. Again, not a hairstylist, not a professional hairstylist. And then adding a few little final touches just really nitpicking the makeup, which is always a good thing to do. And that is my sick and tired midsummer makeup look. Really nice and natural, not looking like she has any product on her skin, but as if it is actual discoloration coming from her skin. And if you want to see any photos from the photo shoot that we did outside, make sure to follow me on Instagram at MUA, and you can find the pictures there. So that was the video. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Not a whole lot of makeup going on to the face itself. Just sort of emphasizing, you know, the little crevices, some of the discoloration that you have in your face after say crying or, you know, being sick, being tired, all those little things. Those are tiny little details that you utilize a lot in the actual film world. And so this is a very good skill if you want to be a film makeup artist. I wanna thank Bailey so much for being my model, even though it took seven months for me to get this video out there and to get you the pictures. Just thank you so much for sitting for me. I wanna thank you so much for watching my video. If you are still subscribed to me, Thank you so much for sticking with me, even though I have been a little bit absent over the last couple months. And if you're new to this channel, go ahead and click subscribe. I'm really hoping to get some more content out there, but as I work in the film industry and we work 12 hour days, I sometimes don't have a lot of time while I'm working itself, but I'm gonna try my best to sort of crank some content out while I have some downtime, so stay tuned. I have a bunch of other videos that you can watch in the meantime if you're looking for another makeup fix. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Uh.